Hi guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. I am going to talk to you about dry eye and what I've been doing to make it better. And I'm also going to have a giveaway, so be sure to watch the entire video and um, be sure to like and comment. And I would love it, love it, if you actually shared the video as well. So stay tuned. So back in, I think it was November. Actually, it started the tail end of October, but into November, I started to have some really massive changes with my eyes. I noticed that my eyes were bloodshot. One in particular, the right side, was always bloodshot, um, and it would get worse, and sometimes I would feel like I had sand inside my eye, and I it, it got to the point where come around Christmas time, everything, uh, all my pictures, all my videos, my eyes, that one looked okay, one looked awful. It was so noticeable and the discomfort was getting worse. And one day I was driving to pick up Jay because he had driven my car to be dropped off in the shop and it was really early in the morning and I could hardly see. I mean, I could see, but it, it hurt me to look at the lights from the cars and because and, it was really early and it was still, you could have the lights and uh, by the time I picked Jay up, I was in total distress and I started to drive home because it was in his Jeep and by that time the, it had was daylight and the sun was coming up and I was facing it and I was like, uh, my eyes were tearing. I, I, had to, I was driving like this. I was like actually crying and I said, I cannot, I cannot see. We actually had to pull over on a busy road so he could get out and we could swap and that's when I called the doctor. Um, I called the eye doctor up. I was due for an exam and I said, I have something going on with my eyes. I've never had anything like this. I said, I've been, you know, I've been doing, I've been using a couple of things in my eyes and it was like really concerned. Like I was using an eyelash serum. I was using Lumify. I love Lumify. I was using Lumify before I had any issues with my eye really other than if you, you know, like if you wake up and in your eyes and sometimes just naturally are a little bit of bloodshot, but I, I was like in total distress. So he had examined me and put me on a um, really expensive over, I think it's over $240 eye drop, um, a steroid eye drop. And it was, you know, he, he was diagnosing it as a one eye, severe case of dry eye. And he made a couple of recommendations of what to do, hot compress, eye drops in between the steroids and all that. So I was talking to Sheila, Life with Lily, simply Sheila, I should say. And, um, and she was saying how, cause I was telling her how I was like taking a hot, wet face cloth and putting it over my eyes. And it was, the face cloth got cold and, and it would drip down. And it was just, because it was awkward, I didn't do it as consistently as I should have been doing it. And, um, I had, I ended up having a relapse because I wasn't really doing what I was supposed to be doing as far as the hot compress. So Sheila said to me, she said, oh my gosh, she said, get some eye masks on. She recommended a couple. There's one that you can do and you can put it in a microwave and, um, you, you can put it on your eyes and it's washable. It's really, really nice. And that's the one I bought. I actually bought this off of Amazon. And I actually really like this because somehow the microwave, you put it in the microwave, it kind of activates something in the little capsules or a little, um, I really don't know what they are, but there's like, I want to say they're like little beady things, but it actually activates them and it's called Hydro Heat Technology. 
where the eye mask absorbs moisture from the air and releases it, you know, heat from the air and releases it as clean, moist heat going into your eye. So I bought this from Amazon. I want to say it might have been $20 and it's washable. I really like it. I have, I put it in the microwave for like 25 seconds. And by the time, I think the directions calls for 20 seconds. And by the time I get it out of the microwave, walk back in my living room or bring it into the bedroom or wherever I'm going to be doing it, it has gone cooled down a little bit to, you know, 20 seconds. And I, you know, obviously I have my makeup off, although I suppose you could, you could put it on even if you had makeup on, I would imagine. But, uh, and then I just put it on. You know, you can strap it around your head if you need. I really don't do it. I don't strap it around my head unless I'm sleeping with it. Well, I guess I never really understood that these kind of products were available. Call me ignorant in that sense. I just had no idea. I also had no idea of what dry eye was, how one could get it. I'm thinking, was it my eyelash serum? I'm thinking, was it my Lumify and my eye doctor? And of course, this is by no means medical advice. You should go and satisfy yourself, obviously, talk to your own doctor if you have dry eye. But my eye doctor said, no, it had nothing to do with the Lumify, it had nothing to do with my eyelash serum, it had nothing to do with my makeup. It has everything to do with a number of different conditions that affect dry eye. A lot of chronic computer use, a lot of bright lights, dry heat, etc. So a combination of my lifestyle from COVID, where all of a sudden, I was teaching every single day from Zoom and I was working from home, attending meetings from home via Zoom. And then when I got to go back in the office, I was still attending meetings via Zoom and teaching via Zoom because everyone else was at home. So my computer screen time went sky high. And in the winter time, I have forced out air heat, so it's extremely dry. So I run a humidifier at night, especially by my bed. Um, this has helped tremendously. I, I've had the steroid eye drops, um, you know, I finished using them. Um, I got, per my eye doctor's recommendation, you can get anyone you want, obviously, but um, he suggested these lubricant eye drops, Refresh Plus, and Jay bought me, this is like a 70, these come in like like a serving where you, we break it off. It's kind of really interesting. I never realized, like if you break one of these off, it should be enough to give you two drops in each eye. You twist the opening, you squeeze it, you get two drops in each eye. I never realized how much two drops in each eye really was until I started using it that way. Because when I was doing it from the little squeezy thing, I hardly was squeezing anything out. Or as soon as I felt that I was getting something, I stopped. So this has helped assure me that I'm getting the right amount of dosage. So he bought my initial one on in Walgreens. And even with the sale price, after a while, it adds up if it's something you're going to be doing every day. So I found it cheaper in Amazon, and that's where I've ordered this from, Amazon. And I really like it. So I'm happy that I can still use my Lumify when I just want to brighten up my eyes. Um, but more importantly, that I can still use my Blink Eyelash Serum. I always give my eyelashes a break. You know, I do like maybe a two month or one month break. But this winter when my eyes started to act up, I started, I went off all my eyelash serum. I didn't even put my castor oil on there. Didn't do anything I would normally do for my eyelashes because I was so afraid. So um, I was really happy. And so I've been back using my eyelash serum for about a month now. And um, I've been, been able to maintain with, you know, using the eye drops has really helped out an awful lot. So this is a giveaway. Uh, before I talk about the next product that's helped me, I'm just going to tell you that this is a giveaway. I am going to give away four packages or four containers of the Blink Eyelash Serum. Please don't enter the contest or the giveaway unless you really want to win this. Um, eyelash serums are not for everyone. Do your research. There are side effects for some people. Um, 
I'm not a doctor, I'm not an eye doctor, um, but do your research, but I'll tell you, the blank has just been, it's just been awesome for me for my eyelashes. I absolutely love it. So the other thing that I, I have recently got, which I thought was totally amazing, and because I travel, and uh, or I, I shouldn't say, I do travel. I mean, I try to travel. And, um, you know, like we're, we're doing a wedding and I'm thinking, you know, I don't know if there's going to be a microwave. I don't know. I know most hotel rooms have microwaves. Most Airbnbs have microwaves. So I'm pretty comfortable that I would have a microwave. But I kept thinking, what, what if I'm not? Or when originally I thought, well, geez, what if I'm on a long flight? Oops, I'm on a long flight. And... I went to use and the eye mask. So, Mavogel, and I'm not really too sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, had reached out to me, and I and they have probably reached out to a number of other content creators, but for me, I thought it was pretty fitting because of my eye issue. And I think I saw Clara, Clara's Beauty, oh, I can't think of her name of her channel. I'll link it below. She had recently done a review on this eye mask as well. But anyways, this is an electric eye mask. And what, you know, what you do is you plug it in here really tight and it runs by USB or it has a little adapter that you can plug it into the wall if, if you want. Now the cord itself is a decent sized cord, but um, the adjuster the on off the high low is more in the middle so I find it a little bit harder to adjust while I'm using this one thing that I found that has really helped me I have a power pack and it's a power pack that I'm actually I bring it on in my pocketbook especially when I'm flying and it's just a small little power pack but I plug this right into the power pack and turn it on and it is right next to my head and I can I can adjust it up and down high and low it's amazing so while plugging it into the wall eh, you know um, it was harder for me not as readily easy as having that power adapter right next to me and just the power pack works great so they reached out to me and said would you like to try their electric heated eye mask and I I was like, wow, how do they know I'm going through? Because I really haven't really talked about it at all. Um, but this is sort of a silk heated eye mask, which is perfect for dry eyes. It's a warm compress. Um, it's electric. So there's nanotubes, fast heating, nanotubes, fast heating, adjustable timer and temperature, control sleep mask, um, it gives you, it helps with your puffiness. It helps with your dark circles. They've got really a lot of high ratings on Amazon. It is very reasonable. I think it's like $22, $24. And I believe, depending on what time I publish this, I have a discount code. Um, I'm not an affiliate member of this. I have used it, however, for, oh, a week and a half. And I really, really like it. I like the fact that it's mulberry silk fabric and it's really 100% quality mulberry uh, silk. It feels really good. I can fall asleep. It auto shuts off after an hour. It's cut, It has some light blocking when I put it on. I really like it a lot. It has three heat temperatures. I keep it on the highest one because of my eye issue. And then again, the cord is like five feet, which is probably long enough for most people. But for me, with the power pack next to me, it becomes perfect. It is absolutely washable. I really like it a lot. So anyways, between my eye drops and the hot compress, both of the ones that I use, the hot mask, the, air, the eye masks, both of the ones that I use, I really, really like. This eye mask, and I'm not too sure when you're going to see this, is going with me on my trip. I believe I can plug this right in too. So if I'm flying and if I want to have a little bit of relief, I can plug it right into my power port, my power pack because I've done it that way. And I may or may not bring this one as well. It's small, doesn't take up a whole lot of room. But I just, um, I was like amazed that I had dry eye. And 
I couldn't believe that I was I was actually using a, a wet face cloth and having it dripping all over me and being awkward and uncomfortable for so long and not realizing that there were other alternate solutions. So thank you, Sheila, for mentioning the eye mask to me at first. And, uh, and then I bought the one she recommended. I will link it below. I love this mask. It's really nice and hot when you nuke it in the microwave. And you can feel that moisture come right out. The electric hot air, this electric heat mask gets really nice and hot too. And very, very soothing. It takes a little bit longer. Obviously, this comes out of the micro, microwave, so it's hot right away. This takes a little bit longer. I love the fact that it goes for an hour, then it shuts off. I, it's so affordable. I love the mulberry silk. And I just think, wow. You know, who knew? I certainly didn't know. So if you um, you want to be entered into my giveaway, uh, just leave a comment below. I'm not going to answer any questions. Again, I'm not an expert at dry eye. I just wanted to share with you some of the things that I've been doing because I didn't even know I could do this. And it's just a total coincidence that this eye mask company reached out to me offered to send me complimentary for review and that they had no idea I had a need. So it has definitely satisfied my need. So if you have a need for long lashes, tell me about your need below. I'm gonna use a random picker type uh, thing. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure you like, you have to actually do this little check box and like it. Leave me a comment telling me about your need for eyelashes. And this is going to run probably for about a week. And then I will pull the winner and somebody will win four bottles, brand new, of Blink Eyelash Serum. So, yeah, I just wanted to share all that with you. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Jay and I are, um, well, I shouldn't say where we are, but <laughs> anyways, I hope you're having a wonderful week, and I will see you in my next video. Oh, remember to tell me about your need. Thanks, guys.